Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergaga.com and in this video we are going to highlight the second Saturday and Sunday of any given month. So I was asked last week uh, if this is possible, somebody wanted to know, so I did a little bit of research and I found a solution from an MVP called Rick Rothstein. Uh, from excelfox.com and that's what I want to use here but we need to use his formula within a conditional formatting rule to identify the dates that we're interested in the second Saturday and Sunday of a month now the good thing here is depending what your scenario might be if you want to calculate the date of Thanksgiving the fourth Thursday of November or if for some reason you wanted the third Monday of April, you can use this formula to do that. Now the formula is on screen. Uh, this is what I got from uh, his forum, and I shall put this formula and a link to, to Rick's website in the description of this video. And you can see that we've got the date function, uh, which calculates the first day of the following week. So because we want the second Saturday and Sunday, this is going to find the start of the third week. Then it's going to subtract a certain number of days back. And the weekday function has been used here to calculate the number of a day of the week. And that's been subtracted. And somehow this magical formula works. It's very confusing. Um, I get the basic idea of it, but it does the job. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to write the formula out here and then we'll copy and paste it into a conditional formatting rule. And I'm going to put the Saturdays and Sundays in as separate rules, more for simplicity rather than necessity. So keeping with this at the moment, with this formula, uh, you may have guessed that the Y is year, the month is month, uh, sorry, the M is month, the nth is for us number two, the second Saturday. And then over here we've got year and month again, and then the day of the week. And I've just written down on the sheet here so it's visual what number corresponds to what day of the week. So because we want a Saturday, I'm going to write a seven in there. So if I fill this in, instead of if I say I want the second, and then over here I'll change it to a seven for Saturday. And for the years and the months, now at the time of recording this, uh, the following month of October, as it's written on my sheet here, so it'll be 2018 in October. But I'm going to put this in a conditional formatting rule on the sheet. So I don't want to write 2018 because I want this to work whenever given dates are on this sheet. So instead I'm going to write the year function and I'm going to refer to cell A2 because that's going to be the first date in this list. I'm then going to do a similar thing for month, A2, whatever the month of the current sale is. Although A2 is the first one, it will refer to all of them. And I'll repeat that over here. Uh, the year will be year of uh, A2. And the month will be the month of A2. And I'm now going to take a copy of that. It's much easier to write that onto a cell in the formula before you copy and paste it into the rule, in my opinion. So with that copied, I can now highlight these cells, A2 down to the bottom, as you can highlight whatever your range is. It's only 49 cells here, so I'll just drag. Conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine, and I'll just paste the rule in here. With that pasted in, we then just need to turn this formula into a condition. So at the start of it, after equals, I'm going to type A2 equals. So I want to know if the date returned from that formula is the same as the date in the cell, because that would indicate that it is a second Saturday of a month. I will then click on format and apply a format. Let's go for a blue. And as I OK my way out, that will highlight any date that occurs as the second 
Saturday of a month. So the 13th of October is one of them here. And as I go down, the 10th of November is the second Saturday of November. So that is how it can be done. I would then create the rule again for a Sunday. So I could go back into here, change my seven on the end there to a number one to indicate that it's a Sunday. That formula can be selected and copied. I select all the dates again, and we're basically just repeating this process conditional formatting, new rule, user formula, paste it in there. At the start of it, you'll have A2 equals, so you've got equals A2 equals that, and I'll choose a different colour. It could be the same colour, I could even put these in the same rule. Uh, let's go for a green this time. Uh, but for simplicity, I'll put it in two different rules because it's quite a big formula, really. And uh, that gives me the opportunity of using different colours, which is not really that necessary and maybe not desired. <laughs> but it uh, quite nicely visualises the Saturday and the Sunday, just the second one of each month being picked up here. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials and come and check us out at computergaga.com.